we, we, we definitely encourage competitive spirit. And uh, we want to have um, energetic practices. And we want our guys to provide energy. Um, when it becomes a distraction, that's when we've got to make sure we, we cut it out. And there have been times in camp, like any camp you go to, that it's crossed the line. And we've got to make sure at that point we address it. And um, I don't want to pull back that competitive spirit that they have, but I want to make sure that we understand there's a certain level that we can get it to and we can't cross that line, you know, and, and uh, that's, that's, it's a fine line because we're going to push them to the edge. We're going to push them to right there where we want you to um, play with that energy that, that truly I believe it takes to have success, but what you can't do is hurt your team and uh, we got to make sure we always correct it when we get to that point. In accordance with that, when we talked to the safeties the other day, many of them talked about the physicality of this team, and I think that we've seen a, 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 an improvement or an increase in the physicality. Is that, are you seeing that, and is that a, a Marcus Freeman imprint on this team? I, I hope it's the players that we have in this program. You know, I'm going to encourage us to be physical. You, you have to be physical to have success in this game. And you, you're talking about um, men going as 20-something miles an hour, full speed, and you know, with, with pads on, but um, you got to be courageous to play this game. And so what you try to do is, is see who's going to run into the fire and who's kind of tiptoeing in there. And I think that's got to be promoted from the head coach, but at the same time, I really want to evaluate, hey, are you, are you going to play with the effort and attitude that we demand, or is this something that, you know, it's going to take some, some improvement uh, for you personally? And so I think it's a way to truly see um, really what our guys have inside at times. You know, we have to be smart. Now. We can't have injuries for, for no reason, right? And so that's that fine line is how do you push them, right, with the physicality that we need to have, but also make sure we understand that we have to be at our full potential as we get ready to play in Dublin Island. So it, it is truly a... a it, both sides of it, both sides of it. Hey Marcus, um, maybe even stretching all the way back to when you first got here as defensive coordinator, but how, how much have you seen the depth on the roster improve, one through 85, and then I guess, what are the benefits of that as you've gone through this camp? Yeah, I mean, you, you, you have to have depth, right? And so we've made sure to uh, truly um, work on developing our twos and our threes. You know, our twos don't have a lot of game experience, um, and so that was something that I kind of challenged the coaches with. It's, it's easy to, um, always rely on those guys that have played a lot of ball. They know what they're doing, but what we need to do is develop the depth of our team. And so I challenge the coaches, like, I want twos in there with ones. Like, let's see what they can do against the best players we have. And then the same thing with the threes. We, we stay after practice every day, and we have our own session of what we call basics with the threes. And uh, it's all for development. You know, as we get ready to get closer to Navy, like, we're going to have to have some scout teams. But we're going to need the twos. We're going to need depth um, throughout this season. So we have to develop that now in camp.